Good afternoon, Mr. Ramon. <laughs> what a great pleasure again having you in our program. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time uh, during the weekend, during your family time, and I look forward to answering your questions, my brother from WA. Well, um, tell us about your trip in Japan. I understand that you took all your products, your logo, and all your enthusiasm and tried to open a market that is so, um, it's almost impossible to go <laughs> to penetrate, you know? Tell mm. about that, yeah, that it should be your an extraordinary journey. It, it was um, learned a lot during the two-week business trip to Japan and participated in a three-day uh, expo in Japan called uh, Cafe Restaurant Japan and also Wellness Japan. There were thousands of people there. There was about a 20% awareness of CBD, but it is legal in Japan. And a lot of companies there are very interested in our unique uh, Australian products that are organically grown hemp. And now is the process of organizing paperwork and COA to go over back over to Japan uh, in a few months time and, and present the uh, products together with the paperwork. Extraordinary, my man, extraordinary. So I look at an ex uh a great success in your products and the representation of Australia in that market. Thank you very much, brother, and also for your support over the last few years in expanding the Australian hemp industry. We are all trying to fill our own mission as human beings in something that we believe. We are not here because we are, we are being bribed or paid for. Or <laughs> we all have our own journeys and still are a long way to go. That, that is very, very true. And my next journey is I've nominated myself for a member of the Legislative Council in New South Wales, which has been supported by uh, a politician in WA, the Honourable Brian Walker, regarding the Legalised Cannabis New South Wales Party. And I'm very excited to put my hat in the ring. I've been involved in medicinal cannabis for 10 years, um, doing altruistic work um, in Australia, and look forward to service, serving the state of New South Wales in helping to get the legalization of uh, cannabis um, and also to address the current unfair zero detection THC driving laws in New South Wales. Um, I'm Very important. Very important. Yes. thousand of people with government issued medicinal cannabis um, for pain is a very common ailment and every day our licenses are being risked, not only our driving license, but uh, any government issued license is at risk with the zero detection THC laws. You can have your yes. um, government issued medicinal cannabis the night before and still have detection in your saliva. It should be based upon impairment like mm -hmm. other synthetic opiates and um, people should not have to cho choose between being in pain and being on synthetic opiates or being pain free, but still right. capable, responsible Australians um, who are trying to abide by the law. Exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly right. Uh, but London, also, please uh, tell us about your background. It's not that you want to nominate yourself to the legalized cannabis party because you resonate with the those times that are um, evolving in favor of this plant that has been under the strict prohibition by a dictatorship that comes from unknown and very well known reasons at the same time of the prohibition. So uh, 
The, I know the, that you have a, you study, you have a master degree, you are very smart, be not just, at, 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 at my point, if I, I don't really believe that this prototype image that anyone that, that is in the business or smoke some weed for medical or recreational purposes are someone that doesn't have a brain behind or doesn't study or else. Yes, um, Japan, for example, is expected to be an $800 million CBD market in a couple of years time. So there's massive opportunities for people who are organized, who abide by the laws, who um, have the right resources to be able to follow the strict procedures to do international business with cannabis and hemp. And we have a legalized can, uh, cannabis system in Australia since 2016, but it's very much tilted towards the rich and privileged uh, only able to grow this plan. And each year, tens of thousands of Australians are getting criminal records because they're growing a small amount of cannabis at home. And this is extremely unfair. So my history, uh, Mr. Maron, uh, Ramon, is primarily in private banking, being a senior final financial planner in Tokyo and also Australia. And then my wife got breast cancer and I immediately sought a natural remedy um, to help her alleviate her pain and her um, uh, disastrous uh, prognosis by the doctors. So uh, she's still alive 10 years later. I believe in this plan. I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to access this plan without the huge weekly, monthly costs that it currently um, requires to participate in the government system. And if people could have, have their, grow their own plants and, and make their own medicine for themselves and lung, loved ones and even be able to operate stalls um, really? and earn, earn extra money. And this plant is... Uh, a hundred years ago, it was described as a billion dollar industry. And then through prohibition, we didn't have the internet for a lot of that time. Um, the wool was pulled over our eyes, but now we can see the economic and medicinal benefit of this plant. And I believe um, the whole of Australia can benefit um, both fiscally. Uh, my future, you are correct. I have an undergraduate degree in business from Monash University and senior financial planner qualifications in Singapore and Australia. So I see the real opportunity for Australia with our land mass, with our natural resources that are ideally suited to growing this plant. And I really believe that the hemp industry deserves more, more um, attention and uh, financial commitment from the government. And I would be bringing that to the upper house there. Legislative Council in New South Wales is one of the 15 elected members. Well, that would be an honor for the political history of Australia, having that brain behind um, you and Sophia and Brian uh, as the chip flag of this uh, evolution. I also strongly, strongly believe that we have a great opportunity to choose to be in the right, right side of the history um, and choose to support a plan that it has it all. It's like a miracle for all. So, you're, you're, then, um, you're, you're I know too. of your work in other areas of um, industrial hemp and mm. housing investigation, uh, plastic, plastic hem. Tell us about this, please. Mm. Uh, uh, in Western Australia, you've got two fantastic politicians who are extremely proactive, Sophia and, and Dr. Walker, um, promoting uh, sensible legalization strategies for medicinal cannabis and the expansion of the Australian hemp industry. And I, really look forward to uh, listening and learning from the pioneers in WA, um, how we can um, increase uh, the benefits that are right in front of us for this uh, wonderful new Australian industry. 
Fantastic, fantastic, Landon. Um, uh, but you didn't tell us about your uh, other works in the industry in, with hemp, in, uh, with hemp uh, products. Yes, um, with uh, the oil extracted from the uh, hemp flower, we can put it into all uh, products that we can sell overseas that are Australian compliant, um, whether they be like CBD flour or CBD olive oil for the uh, cooking industries in the restaurant industries. Um, there's also opportunities right now that we are making um, biochar from the hemp stems and biochar is used for um, uh, water retention in the soil and can help turn arid soil into terra peta black soil in 12 months by plowing the biochar into the soil. So through our uh, organic um, biodynamic farming approach, we can cut farmers costs by improving the soil <coughs> excuse me, improving the soil and um, reduce the need for pesticides. That's fantastic, 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 Landon. Well, my brother, uh, once again, I must also say that you have been a great supporter of our company, of our events, and you have been uh, basically a great sponsor of everything that we do. <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, I would like to extend uh, the invitation. Uh, today we got our webpage finally uh, done for the uh, upcoming Hemp Home Expo, and it will be November the fifth. And as as it was the last year, you are also very welcome, my brother. Okay. Thank you very much. And um, thank you for this great opportunity. <laughs> Now, fantastic speaking with you again, Mr. Ramon, and uh, wish you continual success and progress in the Australian hemp industry. Yes, Ramon, thank you.